Anthony around. Before the eight-year-old scored his dashing win. And Winter Plate winner Balmoral Bow bled after the race and he's been banned for three months. Checking the results. First went to Brawny Spirit, one mistake early and didn't really recover. The third went to Fleet Dancer, Travis Harrison outstayed them at his first try over the longer trip. The National, race four. Veteran horseman Theo Howe provided first and second favourites for the National. With the track being upgraded to slow, Yurangi was back to nine to four outright pick, despite a nagging doubt about the distance. Brian Constable picked up the ride as Steve Jenkins chose stablemate Luna Fox. The grey was never a hope. Another nugget took the initiative at the start. And Tall Lad, has left tall lad went for home, but a mistake at the very next fence opened the door again, and another nugget slammed it in his rivals' faces. Tall lad, oh, he nearly stumbled through it. The top weights in the race will fight it out. Here's the last coming up. Another nugget's done plenty of the work in front. Comes towards the last, a length and a quarter in front. Over it he goes from Yurangi. And a brilliant victory. Another nugget for Paul Worthington. Wins it by about three lengths. Yurangi is second. Vesper it was today's and jumps and double for Paul Worthington, his first Grand National, and a measured front-running display on another nugget, who's been beaten only once over the fences. He raced nice and kindly in front and jumped perfect the whole way and, and just outdated them, I think, today. Another nugget won't attempt other Hiskins in a fortnight, but will try to continue his success overseas. We've actually had an invitation to take him to Italy and to um, Germany in September. We only found out this morning, but... Um, that's a, that's a bit of a plus for us. Cave's first runner in a national, a winner at 5-1. to one. Yerangi Gallant second, with a 100-1 to one chance Vespa Favour third. Today's second highlight, the Winter Plate final. Belmoral Bow backed heavily. And Marabou's phantom wide out. Marmur took the lead at the 200 metre mark here. Uh, coming after a top walk along the inside and uh, then down the outside. Here comes uh, now Hawks Peak with a good sort of a run and Belmoral Bow. Marmur in front. Belmoral Bow and Hawks Peak swap him though. It's now Belmoral Bow taking the lead and Belmoral Bow's won it from Hawks Peak by a long head. Belmoral Bow well back from 11 to 2 into 9 to 2 but bled and has been banned for three months. In the next year trick, the favourite had little luck in the straight. It's still stage performer in front though. A couple of lengths in front of Persian Island, Dr. Doolittle and Deertrick. It's stage performer, clear hands and heels for Childs. Deertrick late on the inside, stage performer in front and won it from Deertrick. Third is Dr. Doolittle. Greg Childs the summed the situation up early, took stage performer to the lead and that won him the race at four to one over the favourite Deertrick with Dr. Doolittle third. In the next, a form reversal for Red Hope. It's Red Hope in front, 150 metres to go though. In front of Shawcut, the rail sent him and Mr. Elegant. Red Hope is in front for Jackman. Shawcut coming along the inside, but Red Hope's holding on and Red Hope won it. Red Hope from Shawcut, Mr. Elegant third. They were followed. Red Hope could only manage 12th place at Mooney Valley last week, but uh, scored well at 20s today. And the last going to Onsen.